what's going on everyone? It's Amber here from The Stella Guitarist and today I'm going to be teaching you that really awesome song called I Ain't Worried and we're going to be learning it on the guitar. So if there's something that you're interested in learning then stick around and let's get into the lesson. So first things first, all you need to do in order to play the song is we need to have a capo on the fifth fret of your guitar and we have four basic open chords that we need to learn today. So the first chord that we're going to be playing is an F major 7 chord which looks like this and sounds like this. Next up we've got a D minor. We're then going to be going to an A minor chord. And our last chord is a C major chord. So take a moment now to pause the video and to practice changing back and forth between those four chord shapes. Next up we're going to be looking at our strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern that I've decided to use in the song is the one that we use in so many pop songs. It sounds like this, down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's go ahead and practice that strumming pattern with those chords. Starting on the F major 7, a 1, 2, 3, go. of the song what you're going to be doing is just one down strum on each of those chords and just make sure you're counting up to four before changing to the next chord so it's going to sound like this starting on that F major 7 1 2 3 4 really nicely into the chorus which is where we're going to be using our strumming pattern on that F major 7 the chords stay in exactly the same order and we're just going to be utilizing the strumming pattern one two ready go there is one spot where you're going to just be needing to do one down strum on a C major chord and the way I'm going to show you where to do that is I will be placing a small asterisk next to that C chord so when you see that asterisk next to the C you know that you just need to do one down strum on the C chord. So in this portion of the lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to play the bass part which you hear throughout the entire song. Now it's really funky and something that I actually enjoy to play in the first verse of the song. Now just something to keep in mind, if you want to play this funky bass part, you have to take your capo off the fifth fret. So we are going to be playing this without a capo. So I'm going to be pulling some tabs up onto the screen for you. If you do not know how to read tabs, do not stress, you can just follow along to my instruction. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is putting our first finger into the first fret on our A string. This is also known as our fifth string. And we're gonna play that once. We're then gonna go up to our E string in the first fret. And then back down to the A string in our first fret. So that's quite straightforward. That's gonna be followed up by an open string on the A string. And then reach across with your third finger into the third fret on our E string. That sounds really cool. Let's do that again. And the next bar, we're going to be going back to that first fret on the E. Third fret on the E as well. 
and then come down to the A string, third fret. So that bar sounds like this. So if we put that all together, the last two lines of the bass part, we're gonna be playing an open string on the D string, followed by an open string on the A, and followed up with our D string again. So, so far so good. We're then gonna put our second finger into the second fret on the D, and then third finger, third fret D. So you're kind of wanting to keep each finger in their little fret. Don't move your fingers out of these frets. This is the finger to a fret method, which just keeps your playing really neat. You don't wanna be doing weird things with your fingers. Um, it just helps your brain just allocate a finger to a fret and it looks neat and it will help you with just remembering which finger needs to be played when. So the, that bar sounds like this. And our last bar, we're only working in the third fret. So twice in the third fret on the D string and then up to the third fret and the A string. So the whole second line sounds like this. So if we put the whole thing together from the beginning, a one, two, three, four. Notice something that I've been doing is playing the notes all very short. I'm not extending the notes that they're long. Like I'm not creating, and this is called legato. What we're doing is we're playing these notes very staccato. So we're shortening them. And the way I'm doing that is by lifting my finger off the string very lightly after I've played the notes. So I'm not holding it down. I'm lifting the finger off the string to create that shortened sound. So give that a try with the song and I really hope you have fun with it. A one, two, three, four.
Ain't Worried on the guitar. I hope that I've made all your Top Gun dreams come true by teaching you how to play the song. If you've enjoyed today's lesson, then please would you like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you are new to playing the guitar, then I have got some awesome free content for you in the description below. So go down and download that. I'm sure you're going to enjoy reading through that. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Have a really wonderful day. Bye!